How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, heads up, this is actually the second take, so I'm going to have to be careful on how I skip things. When we get to a certain part of the skippage, I'm going to have to just stop skipping, and I'll just slowly go through what we've already read, or I'll probably just skip ahead to when we're next at the point. We'll see. Anyway, as you guys can also see, Pink Fox is not here today. She is taking a little bit of a nap before she has to do her uh, work in actually th about three hours. So, she, while she's taking her power nap, she told me to go ahead and do this. So, let's go forward and do some more Yuri shenanigans. Melancholy. Uncontrollable. Um, entropy. Are these randomized, by the way? Horror. Extraordinary. Really? Huh. Okay. Meager. Intellectual. Hmm. Unrequited? Nope. Okay. Fine. Don't get a pistol. Mean about it. Oh, jeez. Essence. Essence. Yeah. Massacre? Oh. Insight? Inferno. Agonizing. Vivacious. Analysis. Uh, desire. Disoriented. Contamination. Uh, disarray. Sensation. Yeah, we got like two Sayoris and 18 Yuris. Um think it was something like that okay see you in a sec when we reach the next Yuri piece hey Yuri huh ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together sorry I didn't mean to interrupt oh no I was kind of just waiting for you. Huh, if that's the case. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. What's that? Do you mind if I t make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make me my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric nut. Well, you don't know. Yuri has an electric knife in her pocket. I don't know why or where she got it from. I think it's a bad idea that she has it, but for some reason, Yuri thought it was a good idea to bring an electric knife to school. Are you okay, Yuri? Kettle. Electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. Why are you putting the electric knife over at the teacher's desk? Y Yuri, I, look, look, I don't know what I did wrong, but... Please don't hurt me. <laughs> and then we'll get go get some water. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Can you just go get the water while I go hide? <laughs> she walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher. Oh, we're talking about the kettle, okay. So what happened to the electric knife then? I simply watch her movements. Good thing this isn't the real me. Otherwise I'd be busted for this. <laughs> to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. 
Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. What voice did I give Monica again? It's been a while since I've done a voice for Monica, since Amber is usually here with me. Um, but what voice did I give her? Huh? Where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Um... What do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Pink Fox in club activities? Uh. Yeah, that. My mouth gapes. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't know how to respond to that. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Then let's go, Pink Fox. Uh... Okay. Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Yuri... Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri? I just... Something about the way she said that... Made me feel so... Irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think... You did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it... But, it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. I don't think Monica... Uh, okay, yeah, she was being a little bit judgmental, but not to a point that should be aggravating. At least in my opinion. Pink Fox, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Oh boy, we're getting psychological, aren't we? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Yeah, we're getting psychological. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions. And we can't always hide them anyway. And we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns like a little rain shower into a hurricane. Oh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? No, not if you have good reason for it. And you do. Trust me, she has more than good reason. <laughs> Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Yeah, that's a good... yeah. Friend? You say? Uh, um... Yuri lifts her head. Pink Fox, I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Don't piss her off. <clears throat> Don't piss her off. Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. For the moment, that's a, that is a good idea. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Pink Fox, do you like oolong tea? 
Never had it, actually. Uh, yeah, never mind. Apparently, I have had it. I've actually, personal life, I've... The only tea I've ever had, I think, is, like, green tea. Or herbal tea. I think. I don't drink tea. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Very sophisticated she is. And Yoda am I. Or Yoda I am. Apparently. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea bottles. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Eh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Was that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. I noticed. When it's you who's around anyway. Oh, well, that's sweet. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Pink Fox. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. Real life me could if some if the person was like this, but this is not me. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Pink Fox, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Huh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. That's a good idea. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I have terrible posture, period. I try to line my back up with the chair I'm uh, sitting on as much as I can, but... I, I... Like right now. Where's the chair? It's there, but my posture just sucks. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll retrieve the book from... I retrieve the book from my bag. Huh. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Oh my gosh. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Okay, that's adorable. It's kind of obvious what Yuri wants. In case you haven't seen the rest of the episodes. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Yotika. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. That's smart. That is very smart. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. 
I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Huh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, huh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Huh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Okay, well, we're finally in the position of having our character get a different girl instead of Natsuki. First time around we did Natsuki for those who missed it. This time we're doing Yuri and we have to go back again after this. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into her mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. Oh, pop it in my mouth, oops. <laughs> she doesn't even look away from the book. Uh, Yuri, I'm trying to shove your mouth with chocolate. Please don't hate me. Um, I know you had that electric knife from earlier. Please don't use it. I, I just don't, I only mean well. Please. <gasps> what was that sound? She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Might as well. I principally place the chocolate in her mouth. That's the weirdest chocolate I've ever seen, buddy. That's... What chocolate is shaped like... Oops. Oh, crap. Um... Yep. There we go. What chocolate is shaped like that? Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Pink box? S sorry. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well, y y you were just helping. That's something that friends do. Oh, yeah, totally. Friends shove food in other friends' faces all the time, intentionally just trying to feed them like they're together. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't use the electric knife on me, okay? Right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. That's all it was. Y yeah. Yeah. Then... You don't need to stop or anything. I, I see. Why do I feel like she's well aware that it's not just a friend thing? The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. This time, Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. That's how breath works, buddy. Your chest rises when you breathe in, and when you exhale, it lowers. Welcome to science! <laughs> or medical sciences, I guess. I raise my arm. Oh. Like before, Yuri parts her lips. But it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. 
I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone! Oh! Right then! <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, um... That surprised me too, guys, but it didn't scare me. That's like the only difference. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems! Pink Box, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Y yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, thanks! The spell is abruptly broken. Well, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Y Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. Puts the electric knife it back in her pocket from the teacher's desk and... Wait a minute. What? <laughs> um... Back away slowly. Back away slowly. I pick up the bag of chocolates. Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. That wasn't a knife, that was a pencil, right? Oh yeah, look, look, it's her, it's, Yuri, Yuri has her pencil now. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something near, neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Who should I show my poem to first? Obviously, Yuri! Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Pink Fox. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I, I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks. So I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid. It really doesn't. But seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. That's good. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Doesn't she have stage fright? Yeah, she has stage fright. That would be why. Really? I don't believe it. I do. I really only write for myself. I do that too. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Uh, no. <laughs> do we have to go through the poll that we've already received from you again? No one's gonna laugh at that. Maybe except Natsuki is just a butt towards it. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. Aww. I mean, come on! It's not like a, your generic everyday poem, but this writing is really well done. It's messy, but it is really well done. Um... I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. If I remember the poem correctly, I can tell. The raccoon, yeah. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Okay. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. That's basically what a book is, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, if I take it at face value, 
that I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. That's a fair statement. No, give me the poem back. Okay, here, poem. Put the knife, the electric knife away, please. I don't even want to touch that thing. That thing's just like zappy zippy all over the place. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. You mean like that? What you just did? You like twi tinkering with that electric knife, don't you? It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Okay, okay. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because... They're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Pink Fox? Well... Yeah, I guess I do. Actually, I think everyone in the world does, to a specific extent. I feel like everyone has a little- Yeah! The best we can do is respect each other and our indivi- in uh, Our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. That is dark, but probably true. I, I might be ranting a little bit right now. Yeah, but it's fine. We got 14 minutes, at least. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing? Listening? There really aren't many people like you, Pink Fox. That's... That, that's, that's exaggerating a little bit. Possible glitching out. Oh no, wow, when it's a visual novel, it doesn't do that. I'm surprised. So, what I'm talking about is every time... I use OBS for those who still don't know... But every time that I tinker with OBS to make sure things are working properly, this decides to stop working properly temporarily while I'm tinkering. It's kind of annoying. But I digress. Th that's exaggerating a little. Yeah. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Who should I show it to next? I don't know who I just selected. Sayori, okay. Ooh! I like this one, Pink Fox! Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, here we go again. There's some nice feelings in it. Uh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me th feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least give, try giving it some thought? Aww! You wanna write something for me? That's so sweet! Yeah, right. But, wow! You're always take, you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Too. Th 
This I've read already. Okay. Wow. Most of that I've already read. Okay, Natsuki. What do you have to say? Huh? Well, I can't admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like it, this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Huh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's a style though. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Wow. Brutal honesty, right there I guess. Yeah, at least brutal honest opinion. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this unless you're on Yuri's level. Well, at least Natsuki's willing to say that. And yeah, he probably isn't on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Huh? You're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? W what are you talking about? Keep your voice down. I know Yuri would love this kind of, this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean, I, I mean. Ugh. Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve. Though, what I did is beyond me. Don't go taking Yuri's electric knife on me, please. Yuri, hide the electric knife! I am so done with you! Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem if you wrote it for someone else. Just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting y a younger girl step into my business. Hey! Hey! My girl is a younger girl and I love her for that. You hush! Unless I was a mind reader. I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. <sighs> well, there's only one person left. Hi again, Pink Fox! How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that! As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. So maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. I was wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? If my character says no, he's lying. Hmm. I guess so. Good, you're willing to admit it. I can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally! Oh boy. I think her poems are the most... Uh, romantic. That's the better way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she's p she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. When she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that, you must be pretty into her. Uh, you completely misunderstood. <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. Good. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. That's random, but okay. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. 
That's... Wow. Monica kind of whispers the last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well? <laughs> well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out. So I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, we've already read this. I think we're at the skip part. Hmm. Yep, we're at the skip part of all this. Go! Oh, skip time! It's time to skip a lot, apparently. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny watching all this just go <laughs> Wow Oh shh She's asking me who I'd walk home with Really, I'm gonna say Sayori when it's Sayori's turn But I walk home with Yuri Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'd feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Eh, has nothing to do with what I just said. Skippy time. Up until this, okay. Well, that was a fun part two of helping Yuri. Um... Next time we'll hit part three, and I don't remember if there's a part four of it or not, but we should be moving on to Sayori very soon. Um, and after that, since this is Doki Doki Plus, we do have the side stories to do as well before hitting progression. But one way or the other, for right now, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, every now and then you'll see me do a visual novel. Uh, but if you have a suggestion for one, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one we've already done on the channel? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner to take that destination. Or miss any of the stops on this tedious ride. Uh, click the link across from my head here and train will take you there. In the meantime, this train is off to its next destination. But we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.